Hi there, I'm Dr. Petra Kern, the owner of Music Therapy Consulting and co-editor of the book Early Childhood Music Therapy and Autism Spectrum Disorder, supporting young children and their families. Today I will talk about the power of music, what can you do for people with autism spectrum disorder. Most likely you have seen a person with autism in your neighborhood, community or at work. You might have asked yourself about the prevalence and causes, symptoms, intervention options and what music can do for them. Maybe you also are curious about common music therapy approaches and techniques or general practice guidelines and look for reliable information. As of today, it is estimated that 1 in 36 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with ASD. That is, according to the World Health Organization, 1% of the global population. The exact causes of ASD are still unknown, but is commonly referred to as neurodevelopmental disorder triggered by environmental factors that interact with genes which then impact neurobiological factors that lead to typical symptom behaviors seen in individuals with autism spectrum disorder. The term spectrum refers to a wide range of features and ability levels, yet there are two characteristics defining autism spectrum disorder, deficits in social communication and social interactions, and restrictive, repetitive and or sensory behaviors or interests that are present in all people with autism spectrum disorder across the lifespan. The good news is that there are many evidence-based interventions that can support people with ASD and their families, and music-mediated intervention is one of them. Music therapists have published numerous studies and several systematic reviews, including a recent Cochrane update that reported the impact of music therapy interventions. One particular meta-analysis applied inclusion criteria proposed by the autism field. The outcomes support that in children ages 0 to 5, music therapy interventions are very effective for improving communication skills, interpersonal skills, play skills, personal responsibility skills, and their social engagement in the home environment and community. On a broader scale, the National Clearinghouse on Autism Evidence and Practice reported that music-mediated interventions have strong empirical support of being effective in increasing communication and adaptive skills in toddlers ages 0 to 2. Communication and social skills play school readiness, challenging interfering behaviors, and motor skills in preschoolers. Similar for elementary school students except for play and communication and social skills in middle schoolers. In 2013, my colleagues and I found that the behavioral approach is the most frequently applied clinical approach by music therapists in the United States when working with individuals on the autism spectrum, and singing and vocalizations as well as instrument play were the most commonly used music therapy technique. There are seven common practice guidelines that practitioners apply when working with people with autism. Most music therapists adapt them to their services as well. Are you interested in more information? Then check out the book, Early Childhood Music Therapy and Autism Spectrum Disorder, and the reliable organizational resources listed. Thank you for watching and taking time to immerse yourself in the power of music.